Joined by Penn State head coach Cale Sanderson for this week in Penn State Wrestling. Coach, the season's been building to the month of March all year long. We've, you've talked about it a lot. The assistants have talked about it a lot. So what's what's the mindset right now for a wrestler? It's March the 1st, Big Tens are this weekend. Well, we feel real confident in where we're at right now. And, and uh, you know, I think our, our guys are calm, and but uh, confident that they're ready to go. And, um, you know, it, it does take a, a year-long plan to... To, to be at your best uh, in March, and, and that's something that we feel comfortable with, that, that uh, and have had a lot of success with in the plan or in the in the past. And uh, really, with our guys, they just uh, you know this is really the time to have some fun. You know, this is the these are the matches that are important. I mean, they're all they're every match is important, uh, but these are the ones that uh, determine you know whether you're a national champion or a Big Ten champion. And and uh, if you're a competitor, that should light a fire. How does it, uh, uh, competing in a tournament differ from a dual match as a wrestler? Well, it's just it's. I mean, it's it's a little different as far as just the the, the whole structure. I mean, I think as a team we've we've only had a couple tournaments where we've competed as individuals versus you know going through as as a dual meet. But uh, our guys have really uh, competed well, and they feed off of each other. So, but it, it's all the same thing. I mean, you have to go out there and you have to. You have to make things happen, and you have to uh, be disciplined and uh, really ferocious and staying where you want to be and, and uh, dictating uh, the match. Uh, but uh, you know, I feel real comfortable with our guys. I'm excited that you know to wrestle in a tournament again because it's fun, and these guys will feed off each other. And, and, uh, and you know, we know we have a good team, and we have we have a lot of a lot of uh, hope. You talked a lot all year long about wrestling hard for seven minutes. Do you feel like that collectively as a team that you've reached a point where you're happy with with the effort for all seven minutes? Uh, yeah, for the most part. I mean, that's something that that's that's your goal as a coach. Uh, but each kid's going to be a little bit different, you know. And, and uh, really, that what that means to each kid is going to be a little different, you know. I mean, David Taylor, seven minutes of him is, you know, that's kind of lights out. Um, where we have some guys that uh, it's more about uh, holding position better and controlling the match better. Um, so, yeah, each guy has their own game plan and uh, sticking to their game plan and executing uh, the techniques and the philosophy that they uh, go into the match with for seven minutes, you know, that's what's important um, right now. I mean, yeah, in, in, in the long run we want ten guys that are just going, you know, all out for, for seven minutes and pushing the pace. Um, but, you know, to have that, you've got, that's more of a, you know, if you want a kid that wrestles hard, for the most part, you've got to, you know, you've got to get a kid that wrestles hard in high school. And you build, because really college wrestling is just building upon the style that the kid comes in with. You have five guys seated number one this weekend for the Big Ten Championships, beginning with Andrew Long at 133. Do you feel like he's wrestling his best at this point in the, in the year? Yeah, there's no, no doubt. I mean, he's wrestling really well. Uh, he's confident. His conditioning has uh, continued and uh, you know steadily improved, and he's uh, he's ready to go. I mean, he's had some some great matches uh, lately. I think the last match was uh, his his best of the year, wrestling you know top three ranked guy in the country, returning all American. And um, yeah, I'm I'm excited for Andrew. He's he's uh, yeah, he's ready. Then when you look down the list of Frank Molinaro, David Taylor. Uh, Ed Ruth, Cameron Wade, talk about uh, those guys and what they bring to the table. Well, you know, going into the tournament, I don't know if those, I, I would guess actually that th those seeds will stand, uh, but you never know. You know, we have a coaches meeting and, um, you know, we'll see see what happens there. But, but uh, you know, having five guys, I don't, you know, rank number one going in, it just kind of shows you the potential that we have and if we can go in there and, and uh Believe that we're we're the best team, and know that you know we're a team that's going to wrestle at our best. Um, the bigger the match, you know, I think a lot of these kids know that and believe that, and that's what they've done their whole lives, and uh, it won't be any different um, now. But you know, we have a good team, and we have a great chance to do very well at this tournament if we want it, and that's uh, and so if our guys go out there and compete like they want it, you know, we're going to be right in the mix. What are you looking forward to this weekend? Uh, I just like to, you know, like, I mean, postseason. I mean, this is what it's all about. And this is the fun stuff. You know, a any match is fun. Competition is fun. But you know, when there's more on the line, is, is you know, th these are the, uh, 
these are the tournaments that you're going to remember, you know, 20 years down the road. You know, that, that's what makes it exciting, and uh, not only for the athletes, but, but for the coaches. Coach, we greatly appreciate your time. Best of luck this weekend. Well, thank you very much.